What I thought I would do today is demonstrate how to do a material swap, which is essentially a retexture. And so for I'll keep using my tutorial interior area, and I would do a material swap for this foot locker. And so for this tutorial, I'm going to be using two different tools. There's going to be the material editor here and the archive extractor here, both of which I'll link to in the description. So now I've already uh, extracted the materials in my on my computer, but I may as well give a quick demonstration on how to do it. So we'll open the archive extractor, like this. File, open file, and we're going to want to go then to our Fallout 4 data folder, and I have a shortcut for mine on my desktop. But that's Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, Data. And there's going to be all these things here called Fallout 4, materials, mesh, meshes, extras, things like that. So we'll probably want to extract all these textures and the materials because both of those are going to be used in this tutorial. So for example if I were to open this materials one, I simply have to click extract and then select who I want to extract from two and it'll automatically do that but since I've already um, extracted them on my computer there's no point in me doing it again. So once we've extracted all of our things, we're going to go to the location where we extracted them to and track down the material that we're looking for. So in our case, we've got Foot Locker 01, which is what we're using. And sometimes it can be kind of hard to figure out where a texture is, but usually a good bet is to look at the path of a model. And that will give us a vague idea, so this is prop slash Foot Locker. And so I've gone to um, textures slash props slash Foot Locker 01 underscore D. But if you can't find it, we can look at the material set and maybe do a control F of a material set and we'll find it. Which in our case is in um, materials slash props slash footlocker01. You'll see that's that there. So first thing we're going to want to do is edit our texture. So I'm using GIMP for this tutorial and I also have to download um, a plugin to allow it to open DDS files, which is the item type. But uh, I downloaded that so long ago, I can't remember where I got it from or how to install it, which isn't desperately helpful, to be honest. I'm sorry about that. But um, So when this pops up on GIMP, we're going to do uncheck load mitmaps and hit OK. And this is what our texture looks like. Now, depending on what object we're looking at, the texture may be, be sort of much more complicated than this, but I picked this because it was simple. And we can vaguely make out what everything corresponds to. So, for example, if I show you the from a top-down angle, we can see that that is that. Stuff like that. Now, I'm no texture artist, so I'm just going to do a very basic uh, recolor. So I'm just going to go colors, um, colorize, and just do that. Just make it blue. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a desperately advanced texture artist. That's probably about the best I can do, a quick recolor. So now I'm going to File and Export. And we're going to want to name it something else. So I'm going to name it Foot Locker. Um, tutorial DDS like that. I'm going to select DDS in here and export. And now I don't quite understand, as I said, I'm not very good at textures, but I know what to do but don't quite know why. So I select this, what I normally do when I do this, I select this DTX3 one, I select generate mitmaps and I hit OK like that. And now going back into here we can see our blue foot locker has appeared. So what I'm going to do now is travel to my Fallout 4 data folder and in the folder structure we'll go textures and I'm going to create a whole new folder with the same name as my ASP. This is basically to allow me to keep track of everything so I put things in so for example I've got textures slash vault text story which has all the textures that I made for the vault text story mod and then texture slash tutorial interior is currently empty. So I'm just going to grab a quick copy of this texture and paste it in. <coughs> um, and we don't need to worry about any of these other um, textures because they've not been edited and they'll already be present in the material that we're going to edit in a minute. So in anticipation of editing the material, I'm going to return to my data folder I'm going to go to materials and I'm going to do the same thing as that. So I'm going to create a new folder with the same name as my ESP, which was tutorial interior. And again, the same thing. We can see all the uh, swaps that I made for 
uh, vault text story in the vault text story folder. And I don't think we're going to need to use that, so I'm just going to close it. So now we travel to materials slash props. This has got an extra materials because I created an extra unnecessary folder. But um, I've got mine in documents for like for materials slash props. And we'll be looking for footlocker01 in this example. So now when we open it, it's going to look like this. And we're going to want to travel to material. And now we can see the normal texture and the smooth specular texture. They're the same and the game will be able to access these without us changing it. All we're going to want to change is the diffuse texture. So you'll remember we edited underscore D dot DDS. So click on that little dot and it's going to, it brought me up in my materials folder because that was the last folder I used. So I'm going to go to data slash textures slash tutorial interior and here we'll see our footlocker tutorial uh, thingy. So I'm going to double click it and it's now got this little asterisk next to it. So I'm just going to go file, save as, because I don't want to overwrite my original in case I want to return to it later. I'm going to have to navigate to data slash materials slash tutorial interior. And I'll call it um, the same thing, footlocker tutorial. And now the asterisk is gone because we're all saved up and close. And we are actually, I think, done with that now. We can return to the creation kit. So we're going to want to go to material swap. And now chances are your material might not have an existing material swap. But something like the Federalist bookcase does have a material swap. Like that. But um, I'm going to show you for purposes of this tutorial how to create an entirely new one. So I'm just going to right click new. And give it a unique ID. So I'll call it tutorial footlocker material. And we're going to right click new in this and this thing's gonna come up and any of these that have a's next to them indicate these are from the archives and so that's what we're going to be looking for so the material we're selecting is going to be the material that is replaced and if you remember earlier when i was in the containers section we looked at this material here so this is what we're looking for footlocker01.bgsm and so that was in props. Yeah, I had a little bit of trouble finding that then. And this was just loose in props. So if we click props, we get a whole list of everything that's loose in props rather than these, because um, these folders we don't need to use. So we're looking for footlocker. There it is, footlocker01, and we're going to hit OK. And now this is the replacement material. So now what we're searching for is the material that is going to replace uh, footlocker01. And so now we're going to go to our folder that we created, which we can see doesn't have an A because it's not the archives. And we're going to hit Footlocker Tutorial BGSM. OK, like that. And this is going to show up. And so now hit OK, and we hit OK out of everything and save. So now we've created a material swap. So we can do one of two things. We could create a whole new object. So I could give this a unique ID. I could edit this, and I could select our material swap from this list, Tutorial Footlocker Material. But that's not really necessary. We can just access our material swap now directly through um, for the individual reference rather than creating a whole object. So this will change the material like I've done for these walls here where I made them clean. This will simply change the material. And now, chances are, when I do this, it will appear as though nothing has happened. But I'm going to select tutorial footlocker material for, um, for my thing. And when I hit OK, probably it won't change. But if we enter the game, we will be able to see the visible change. And if I were to close the creation kit and come back, um, we would also be able to see the change. Okay, so I quit out of the creation kit and have come back. And we can see our footlocker now appears blue. And obviously this only affects that one footlocker. So if I were to click and drag another footlocker in, it's still green. Because we just changed it for that individual reference. And the way your material swap works is... Um, Where's material swap gone? Is that basically it is searching for any item which has this material in it, and it will replace any instance of that material with that material. So it's it's similar enough, and then it doesn't get in the way of any other. So you can see that the uh, Federalist bookcase still only has the one material swap available, and all of our other walls, it, you know, the footlocker hasn't shown up there because it can only replace that one. And now, if I wanted to replace this footlocker, I could do tutorial footlocker swap and this time it's done it right away after the first time it'll always do it right away 
But um, any other time, after the very first time you do it, you'll have to reload the creation kit. But every other time, um, it um, it does it straight away. And I did try just reloading the individual cell, and it didn't ch uh, demonstrate the colour change. But um, sh shutting off the creation kit coming back did. So hopefully that was useful. I know it wasn't a, uh, I'm not a desperately great texture artist, so this does look a little bit crap, but it's just for demonstrative purposes. I will link to the tools that I used in this tutorial. I'll link to those in the description. And hopefully that was useful. Thank you for watching and goodbye.